director of the Joe Holloway Stable. Of course, he has been here to uh, send Postword Life Source. And Travis, I want to do a little bit about your background first. How did you wind up conditioning for Joe Holloway Stable? Uh, I came out with two of my own this fall, or this winter, rather, and uh, Joe was looking for another trainer, and I applied and took me on, and it's been a great relationship ever since. Well, one of the things about working with a large stable is you get to be associated with a lot of great horses. Where do you rank Life Source in your mind? He's coming to his own right now. He's out of, you know, he's racing very well. Joe's done a wonderful job getting this horse ready to race. He's pointing him for the end of the year. You know, racing against probably the top colts in Kentucky and maybe the Breeders' Crown or something like that. So I rate him one, one of the best we've, you know, we've had. Well, when everyone sees that sparkling 148 and 4 record, uh, they're sure to sit up and take notice. But right after that effort, he had a break in the action. Was there something that was negative that happened? No, we just didn't want to race him against older horses. You know, he was very brave, raced very well. Joe just didn't feel like it was necessary to race him against older horses to where it might weaken his spirit. So just let him qualify easy and get him ready for the fall. All right, so he had a little break in the action, but he does have back-to-back -back qualifiers before today's race. Is that enough of a tightener for him to be sharp first start back? Um, I hope so. The last qualifier was very nice, you know, 52 flat mile. Uh, Garden stayed on a good track. He was very surprising that he went that fast, but uh, he, he should be. He's ready to go today. He's feeling really good. Well, he's got the rail, which is of course a plus. Is he a versatile performer? How do you think he will handle the half? Uh, I think it'll be fine. This half is a. Uh, this is a beautiful half mile. Any horse can handle this half mile, and he should be all right. He, you know, he can come from behind, he can leave. He's very versatile. All right, sometimes we describe horses and we say they're a grinder. Others have a quick burst of speed. What about his racing style? How would you describe him? He's got a quick burst at the end. He's got, a, he's got quite a brush at the end, but he, at the same time, he can grind. He's very, you know, he's capable of doing anything he needs to do. Years ago, there was a horse by the name of Falcon Sealster that was not eligible to the jug, and he kind of stole a little bit of thunder that year with a big record-breaking performance here at Delaware. Any chance that that might happen this afternoon with Life Source? Uh, I don't think he's quite capable of going 51. It'd be nice, but he's going to have to race awful good today. There's a, you know, I think he, he's going to pace, I believe, around between 51 and 52 over this half today if everything goes well in his way. Well, of course, he has uh, come here to take care of business, I'm sure of that. But what about Life Source after Delaware? You said they're pointing into the fall. What would be his next stop? Um, Lexington, he has a late closer there, his next start. And then there some, might supplement him to the Tattersalls. It's up to the owners at this point. Well, I'm sure uh, he's a horse that we'll want to keep track of, and we're looking forward to watching him race here this afternoon. As he's going to go postward, I'm sure a heavy favorite. Um, what about being a beatable favorite? Do you think there's any little uh, chink in his armor, any weakness? And just that he hasn't raced in a while, you know, just the qualifiers. That's about it. But besides that, nothing. He's, he's on top of his game right now. Joe's done a wonderful job with his colt. Travis, when they're on the road, uh, how much time do you spend with them as far as like uh, getting them familiar with the new surroundings? Any, or is a horse just uh, capable of taking everything in stride? Um, they take everything in stride. They ship in, they get the night to relax, and the next day you, you jog them lightly, and they seem to be right at home. And doesn't slow them down a bit. What about the crowd we have here at Delaware? Does it uh, make any of them a bit nervous? Um, sometimes, but not too bad. Uh, I'm kind of glad he's not racing on jug day because we're right next to the, all the action. So. I think it can make a horse nervous. All right, well, we're ready to get this one underway pretty soon and take a good look at Life Source. And thank you so much for joining me. Yep, thank you. Let's go back over to the infield.